Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Legend Duke, back in the building. And hold up, hold up. As you guys can see, man, look at me, bro. Look at the new PSN, y'all. It is Coach Duke with two E's, guys. I had a tough time deciding on what to do for my PSN, and it took me a little bit to change my PSN. As you guys know, I did leave Truly Blessed, and this video is going to explain why I left Truly Blessed and the truth behind the reasons why I left and what my plans are now for the future. But as y'all can see, man, the PSN, if you guys want to add me, I will be adding two people. So drop your PSNs down in the comments. I will be adding two lucky people back, y'all. It is Coach Duke with two E's. Um, Coach Duke YT, Coach Duke Dash were taken on my old account, so I can't revert it back. The only thing I could have reverted it back to was Coach Duke Dash YT, but I don't really like the Dash anymore, so I think this is valid, y'all. I think this is a W. Let me know down below in the comments if this is a W or an L, y'all. As you guys can see, Legend Duke, I'm on my two-way finisher. This is one of my new Legend builds. I'll be dropping a video on this build next week, so y'all stay tuned for that man make sure you guys follow my social medias man follow me on twitter right here on the screen at coach duke underscore for more important updates and make sure you guys follow my twitch man coach duke yt for daily streams all summer long y'all so this is going to explain why i left truly blessed the official reasons why i still got a ton of love for truly blessed man for coesis and everyone for most of the people in that organization man i had a great eight months there but it's just time for time for bigger and you know new things uh, for the rest of the 2K20 into 2K21, man. I hope you guys still rock with me. I hope you guys still support me. We're back to the OG Coach Duke for all my OG supporters, man. You guys already know the vibes. It's going to be lit. I cannot wait to uh, drop this more legend banger content for y'all. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know down below if you have any questions about anything that I do say. It is all facts. This is all strictly facts. You can ask any other people that left or even people that are still supporting me in the team. In the team, I guarantee you they'll say that most of the stuff I'm saying, if not all of it, it's complete facts. So I hope you guys do enjoy. This is why I left Truly Blessed. And let's get into it, man. Let's go. Alright, y'all. So it's time to get into the truth as to why I left Truly Blessed and why everyone else that left Truly Blessed did leave as well, man. Everything in this video is nothing but facts, man. If you guys want more proof than what is in this video, if you really still don't believe me, you can DM me on Twitter at Coach Duke underscore, and I will literally show you proof of everything that went down because I want to make sure that you guys get the, the actual real truth. And a lot of some people out there that are, you know, big fans of other YouTubers are portraying wrong facts, and everything I'm saying right now um is all straight facts you can even ask and, or watch other videos of the other members that left and they all say very similar things so before we get into it man make sure you guys sub if you guys are new turn on all post notifications and drop a like on this video man let's aim for 200 plus likes all right y'all so let's get into it so as you guys know my boy angel man my boy truly angel as you guys can see right here in this photo man he came to my stream he found me when i hit 100 subs live y'all i was really small just grinding extremely hard man just hit 100 subs live this same night he had 100k the same night he had 100k i was in his stream going crazy then right when he hit it right after he made his speech i started up my stream he came into my stream flexing his check mark on all the other smaller streamers that night he came into my stream out of nowhere and i was fanboying i was like oh my god truly angel no way the real truly angels in my chat he was the first big youtuber to ever come to my stream and notice me it was insane bro it was insane i was going crazy but he found me then subbed me at 100 subs and followed me ever since then. Then, when I was at like 1 to 2k subs around there, 3 points saw me unrecommended. He came to show up. He subbed me with notifications. And they both were subbed to me, y'all. And every couple weeks, they would always come and check in on me. Those are the two big boys and truly blessed. Before I even thought about joining any team, they were there already showing me support. So, guys, as you guys know... Um, I was in a couple of smaller 2K clans. If you guys are my OG fans, you guys know I was in a couple of smaller 2K teams. Ended 19, I was in GM with my boys, um, Splash, Dunk, Kaner, all them. And then I ended up leaving that when it fell apart. And I joined Big Boys, led by Spiffy and My Brick Wall. Both of those strictly 2K you know, teams, just kids that just play stage and events. Not really my type of team, because at the time, I was streaming. I was really coming up on streaming. I was going crazy on my YouTube channel and the content. And they were only focused on the game. So it wasn't really a good fit for me. And... 
the last like month I was in Big Boys, I was kind of you know considering leaving because they were doing nothing you know for the streaming part. I wasn't surrounded by grinders. I was surrounded by people that grinded 2K, but not people that were grinding YouTube or Twitch or anything like that. So it was not really a good spot. And as you guys can see right here, man, three point near the end of October, y'all near the end of October. Three point reached out to me and he's like, Yo, Duke, you trying to join TB? And I was going crazy. I was like, No way, this man is offering me a spot to join TB because I was really already cool with a lot of people in there. And obviously, I already had support from Three and Angel, who are the two big boys in the team. So I was like, No way, this man just offered me a spot. And I was going crazy. I was like, Yeah, I got you. As you can see with the DMs between him and then the DMs that I had uh, with Angel, they're going to pop on the screen. I was asked them both for advice because I was in a team, big boys. And they were only about, you know, the game. They weren't about make chasing a bag with streaming or videos or anything like that. So I knew what my heart and my gut wanted to do. I knew it was best for me. But I'm such a nice person. I'm such a kind person. I didn't want to seem like a snake to Spiffy or Brick. Because those are my guys. Like, those are one of my brothers. Like, I still talk to them, you know, sometimes. And I still support them heavy. So I didn't want to look like a snake. So I had to ask them. And they all kind of just, they both kind of just said, just go with your gut. Go with what you think. That's what Angel told me. So I was like, all right, whatever. I'm just going to do it. And I ended up leaving Big Boys. And then the next day, y'all, the next day, the next night, I did join Truly Blessed, man. As you guys can see right here, I would like to officially announce that I've accepted three. And Angel's offer to join Truly Blessed is takeoff time at Kalisa's, bro. And I was just so hyped. I was so, so hyped, bro, to join. And once I got in the chat, it just... Everyone was, you know, spamming welcome, welcome, welcome. It just felt like a family already. The whole family vibe it was amazing, bro. And for the first couple of months I was in the team, I was actually on campus in school. And the chat was just awesome, bro. I just loved, you know, vibing. I found a little circle, you know, in the team for who I was really close with. And I just vibe with everyone in the chat really well, man. You could literally go in the chat whenever you wanted, whenever you were bored. And everyone was just joking around, putting memes in there, just joking with each other, locking in on each other the troll. It was just awesome. It was just a whole, you know, family vibe like an organization is supposed to be, bro. I could be in class, you know, in my college lecture is just really bored. And I know if I wanted a little laugh in class, I could just go to the chat and there was always someone, you know, fooling around and it was awesome, man. It was awesome. But after those do after those couple months, um, Angel and Cal really wanted to focus on getting truly blessed back to where they used to be in 2K19 when they were all blowing up, going crazy, and they took a little break from it, but they wanted to, you know, blow it up again. So they made it really, they made the rules and restrictions a little tougher. They cracked down, kicked a lot of content creators who didn't follow those rules, and they made it, they ended up having a name change rule where if you were in truly, you had to have truly in your YouTube name or else you were kicked. Three Point didn't agree with it, Make It Like Jay didn't agree with it, and a lot of others didn't agree with it, so they all left. So we lost three, who was like Angel's, you know, brother, they were all, they were really close, and they were both the top two guys, and at the time, Three Point had the most subs in the team, so Three Point left, and we just lost our big guy right there, but that only bothered us for a little bit, it didn't really bother us at all, to be honest, we just pushed through it, kept on going, kept on going, and kept going crazy, there was a lot of beef, you know, going on, a lot of hate going on with Truly, but we just pushed through it, um, during a lot of the original beef, I was so locked in during winter break, literally so, so locked in, that I wasn't even, you know, looking at any of that stuff, I was just locked in, I hit 10k, I gained like over 3k subs in a month over winter break, it was insane, past 10k subs, never gonna forget that day with all the truly best members in the party, and it was just awesome, man, and then a little bit later on, a couple months after I hit 10k, uh, we did pick up Truly Queen, Truly Queen, as you guys know, uh, ISO Queen, she used to do YouTube like a lot, like heavy full time, and she took a break from it, um, she came back, wasn't doing great at first, you know, was putting really low views for her sub count, but she wanted to make a comeback, which is awesome, which everyone should do when they take a break. Um, she got cool with Kalisis, they got really close, and Cal was like, you know what, we're gonna give her a chance. She has a lot of potential, we know what she's capable of, let's give her a chance, let her come back, let her try to see if she can, you know, get her channel back on track. And once she joined, she ended up texting Truly Money. So Truly Money was probably the fastest growing person in the team at the time. He was blowing up, he had a Steph Curry video that went crazy some jump shot gameplay videos that went crazy and he was just you know going crazy started making creative videos um when it was just strictly you know informational videos and then queen hit him up and it was like yo we need to start this series we can do like a boyfriend girlfriend kind of thing and we'll both eat off of it we'll both go crazy and money agreed to it man money agreed to it and as you guys all know you know queen has already exposed it saying everywhere that it was fake all this stuff was fake obviously i don't that was pretty weird that she did that even though a lot of people already obviously assumed that was fake but it's entertainment, it's YouTube, it's entertainment. It doesn't matter if it's fake, bro. Like, people are still gonna watch it. But that, you know, that relationship whole thing went crazy and Queen skyrocketed from less than 20K subs to 80K subs so fast. We were all eating in TV, we we're all going crazy. 
and then we picked up some big big pickups even later we picked up badge plug this is like the next couple months a um, month or two picked up badge plug young dirk jayla oxy who you guys know is one of the most fastest growing youtubers right now we didn't announce him um we were gonna announce him during the tv deadline recruitment deadline but he ended up leaving before that girl gamer chaz girl gamer shay ja tv king superior we picked up some 2k league players we picked up a future nba draft pick kj martin and a bunch of other big guys as well as people we were in talks with we were in talks with nadex stumpy bandit dino nade had even changed his name to truly made it was crazy like we were about to really take off and then apparently like badge or someone said something that nade and bandit didn't like and they decided not to go with it and they decided to move on to other things but that would have been absolutely crazy that stirred the pot a little and then on top of this queen was getting into arguments you know every single day queen was getting into arguments with people on the team every single day and instead of addressing them in private in the chats or in private dms when queen gets mad she takes everything publicly and takes it to social media and makes a million tweets about it so the whole world knows which makes everything way way worse and josh Bourne, um who's the former manager of truly bless he's not uh, associated with truly bless anymore he had this guy named steve who's an investor he had invested in big big esports teams um and worked with them you know in the past he would join the chat and every single time he would join the chat queen or someone else would just be very disrespectful queen would like disagree with some ideas every time they would say stuff for the team to get like bigger you know bigger picture thinking bigger picture cow or queen would always shut it down and steve would always say to us he's like and queen would leave the chat and then he would always say to us guys you guys have great potential i would love to invest in y'all but i just can't because of queen she's way too toxic she's a terrible look and she wouldn't even last a couple hours in the business world and i remember him saying that word for word i didn't screenshot it because i don't screenshot you know d dms in team like that i don't screenshot dms i'm not like that but he said literally said that word for word. it was like a day he was like she would never last a day in the business world with how she likes you know with how she acts and Angel, who literally is truly blessed. When you guys think of truly blessed, you think of truly angel, right? Truly blessed, truly angel, and truly blessed are literally go hand in hand. Truly blessed literally is truly angel. Like, it's crazy. And she was thinking about it. Everyone was thinking about it. And Queen, and apparently Angel literally talked to Queen and said, if Queen doesn't calm down, she's making us look really bad. Like, something has to change or she's going to have to leave. And we gave her a chance and she just would not stop. And we just couldn't take it anymore. Angel told Kalisa's queen, right, to pick queen to make, you know, for the better option of the team, and he just kept saying, no, no, I'm staying with queen, I believe in her, and this is like the first thing in my head where I noticed that he was choosing her and their relationship with each other over the team, because we really could have took off, and it was crazy, and on top of that, every time she got in an argument with a member, she would just leave uh one night tweet about it and then the next day tweet oh it's all fine join back and the next day tweet free agent and then the next day join back again it was just back and forth back and forth just so much unnecessary drama and it was just so so bad and by the way before this um girl gamer chaz and jail had already left for other reasons and shay kept going in and out so those are three big big keys that we were losing as well and then this is what really started it all so one day rim was streaming um i, I forget if he was playing with money or just money was just in the party but someone in rim's chat was like Yo, Rim, why is Money dating a dyke? And Money was in the party, and he was like, Tuh, imagine. Like, he just did, like, a little joking laugh when someone jokes about him or other people. He doesn't act, he's not actually like, ha, ha, ha. Like, he's like, he just, like, Tuh, imagine, like, saying a little quick thing. He always says that when we call him ugly in the party or something. And Rim laughed, too. And it wasn't supposed to be that serious. It was a joke, but apparently Queen took it seriously. She saw the clip, and she started going off on Money. They started going back and forth. She was spamming Money's text messages. She kept blocking him, then unblocking him, saying something on iMessage, then blocking him again. And they both ended up dropping a video on the situation to try to expose the truth. And everyone in the TB chat, we we're all just going crazy in our leaders chat and stuff. We were like, wow, this is a really bad look for TB. Just so much drama, you know, going around in the team. It's just a really, really bad look. And uh queen ended up taking down the video because we were saying how bad of a look it is i think khalees just like made her take it down or something and we they told money they told both of them to take it down but money kept his up and didn't want to take it down and because of this queen was still enraged and queen ended up striking seven of money's videos queen striked all of money's videos that had either her in the thumbnail or her voice in the video or something like that which is absolutely crazy and money was like okay this girl is a psychopath like we need to get her out of here like this is bad and apparently she was kicked by Kalisa's or she just left to take a break, but she wasn't like gone for good. And that was like strike two in my head right there. Cause literally that's my brother, bro. Like, like that's my dog money. And you're trying to mess with his money in his career. Like, nah, bro. Like that's just, that's just so messed up. You feel me? Like you can't do that. And then, um, off topic, you know, outside of that, Josh and Badge 
were would always have business ideas they would try to you know approach coesis with and coesis ne didn't agree with a lot of them and he was the founder of the team so he made like the final decision and coesis is like a family guy he just wants like a family he doesn't care about the clout he doesn't care about the subs he doesn't care about the money coesis just wants a family vibe where we all just grow and see growth as an organization but josh and badge wanted to turn this into a huge super team so truly bus could be just uh, on top of the whole community into a huge org but cow wasn't for that then apparently badge plug wanted to get oxy a higher up spot than a member because he's blowing up faster than anyone and he wanted you know a higher up spot and cal said no because of his age or something he wouldn't be you know mature enough to handle it and a lot of other disagreements relating this relating to this made josh end up leaving badge plug left oxy left then young dirk left jaw tv left and then after that there was like no more point of being an xbox side so i'm pretty sure every single person on the xbox side left besides uh king superior who's still on the team and then after all this happened money and queen were still going back and forth queen kept bashing money's name so queen continued to fire back and then money angel and then my whole circle besides me i was like just watching it from the background they all decided that if queen is able to be is able to join back after all this we're all we're out and queen said okay i understand that but i gotta stick with queen i gotta give her a chance so he was gonna let queen back in they heard that and then they're like all right bet so angel money das gas dom nate rim echo all left as well as many other creators who followed them and that's literally my whole circle right there but that's my whole circle on this youtube stuff and they're just all gone literally just all left so now here, here i am you know right here in the middle and like i said and i'll say it again i tweeted this i am not a follower i will never be a follower i always have my own mind and i make my own decisions you can ask angel money nate or any of them in my circle none of them ever told me to leave once and i didn't ask any of them should i leave or should i stay i was always 50 50 and i talked to quizis and i said we, I talked to Quiz and I told him, you know, how I was feeling, and we decided that I was going to stay for at least a little bit and see how it goes. He had this huge, you know, envision and this huge plan that me, Kalizis, and Queen would be the next big three of Truly Blessed. Cal's my boy, he's my brother. I always have respect for him, so I don't want to see anyone bashing him. He's a great leader. Just I didn't just I just didn't agree with some of his decisions that he made, but I'll always have love for him. We still, you know, mess with each other. We'll still make visits together. And I was like, I'll give him a chance, right? So Queen still had not officially joined the team back. She wasn't like in the chat or anything, but she would put it in her bio. So she was she was in. She was pretty much back in. So then Angel dropped the video a couple days ago on the truth why he left truly blessed as you can see right here on the screen right now it's going absolutely crazy queen obviously saw the video as well as coesis they both watched it they didn't agree with angel uploading it so this is where i got even more pissed so after the queen just strikes seven of money's videos queen goes out of her way and strikes angel's video now strikes angel's truly blessed video bro it was absolutely crazy um queen strikes that these are my two brothers on the youtube brother these are the two people that i look up to that have helped me out a ton always give me um you know advice stuff like that always there when i need them i'm always there for them and now you're trying to mess with both of their money and both of their careers like that's so messed up so angel makes a tweet um right here as you guys can see on the screen it was like showing um it was showing queen reporting it uh angel made a tweet it was like dear iso queen you tried to strike money channel with seven cases and failed now you're gonna try to strike me it's not gonna work i didn't violate any types of terms of service i thought truly bus was family but look what they do to me and money guys ha 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 with the picture of the case subject as you guys can see it says like after 48 hours we'll, re we'll review the complaint to give you an opportunity you know to re remove it or anything so i responded to the tweet angel being my brother i responded to the tweet i defended him and i said pathetic lol lost all respect and angel responded to that as well and apparently someone one of queen's like friends or queen saw it queen hadn't followed me prior to this uh, by the way she didn't follow me prior to this just for being cool with angel so i guess for being cool with my brothers she can't be cool with me because i'm cool with them i don't know which is weird like that and then apparently someone who's friends with queen in the tv chat saw my tweet saw my tweet responding to angel unfollowed me on twitter and then blocked me out of the main chat and other chats as well and once they did that I was like, yeah, like, I'm out. Like, there's no way. That's my last show. You're going to block me out of the main chat for supporting my boy. And then Queen later uh, later that night had blocked me as well after I blocked and unblocked her because they were just being weird. And now I'm getting blocked out of the chat. So I was like, nah, that's crazy. I'm done. That's my last straw. I told Kalizis. And then I made this tweet, changed my social medias, left all the chats. And then I uh, ended up making this tweet. I've never been a follower in life ever. I've always made my own decisions. All my brothers left, but I told Kalizis I would still give him a chance. He's my boy. But after today, this is the last straw. A virtual relationship stopped TB from becoming a super team. Sad, free agent, as you guys can see right there. And then I made some more tweets. Um, 
right here huge shout out to angel and three first two bigger youtubers to notice the hours and hours i was putting in every day to give me the opportunity to join tb still get a ton of love from them i spent almost eight months with that team which it could go back to how it could be how it used to be which a lot of people that left would agree with that as well and then my last tweet that i made about it i'm always miss a couple months ago when i would look forward to the tb chat to get a good laugh and joke around now it's just all drama and toxicity no one in their right mind would be a part of that that's all facts a lot of people would agree with me and then just to end it off right here um, my boy Bless Jalen did make a tweet. He said, I really want you to let this sink in. You're the biggest team in the 2 get community. You have millions of dollars in sponsorships ahead in the future. Life-changing money for your brothers who work hard to make the team what it is. And you throw all of that out the window for an internet relationship. Um, I'm going to leave this right there how it is. I did retweet it. I'm not going to make any more comments on that. Um, Y'all know what I mean by that, though. Um, but like I said, though, I don't want any bashing for Kalesis, even though I did not agree with this decision. I don't want any bashing for Kalesis, Queen, or anyone else still in Truly Bust. I still rock with a lot of them. Um, Queen hates me for no reason. I don't know why. But Kalesis, still got a ton of love for him. We're still cool. I'm still going to be making banger videos with him on his channel and my channel. So y'all stay on the lookout for that. I still rock with my boy Heavy. I'll never forget my time there. Like I said, big shout out to Angel3 and Kalesis for the opportunity. Made some great memories there. But now, guys, it's just time for me to focus on myself. Lock in for this 20K, 25K, 50K, 75K, 100K, a million. Yes, sir, bro. We better go crazy. Um, I'm gonna rock soul for now. I appreciate all the clan offers. A lot of you guys have been offering me in my DMs. Join KN, join VT, join all these clans. Nah, I'm just gonna rock soul for now, bro. Just grind up, you know, chase this bag. So yeah, man. Um, appreciate everyone that supports me. Hope y'all still rock with me after this decision. Like I said, I'm just trying to better myself. I just can't be around that anymore. So I appreciate all you guys, man. Make sure you guys sub up if you guys are new. Turn on all post notifications and drop a like on this video, man. Let's aim for 200 plus likes. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.